So far in this series of videos, I've been showing you exactly how to record the sound of your keyboard on your computer. But one of the things I get asked about a lot is how I can manage to play my piano and video it and sync it up to the recording of the sound, because obviously the two things are different. And the way I do it is very similar to what I'm doing in this video where I'm recording myself talking to my GoPro, but the audio recording is also being recorded through a mic through my audio interface onto my computer so I've got to marry the two files up. Exactly the same with the piano. I play and record on my GoPro but at the same time I've got the sound coming out of my piano through my interface onto my computer and the two things have got to be synced up so I'll show you how I go about it in my video editing software. But the other option is to buy an interface and record your video directly on your iPhone or iPad and record the sound through the interface and the two things will automatically be um, part of the same file so you won't even have to worry about the syncing because it will already be synced in the file. So I'll show you that as well. Let's head over to my screen. I'm using Camtasia as my video editing software because I want to show you the screen as well and so I might as well do it from within there. The other option is you could easily do this in iMovie or any video editing software that's got these basic, this basic functionality. It's not too difficult to do at all. So what I've got here is I have, I've got an audio recording of myself playing that I recorded through my audio interface onto my Windows PC. And then at the same time, I used my GoPro to make a visual recording of it. And I also recorded the sound of myself in that GoPro, but the GoPro recording Although the video's okay, the sound is not very good at all. So what I want to do is I want to get the sound from my audio interface recording, but the video from the GoPro. So what I've done is I've added the video and the sound to my timeline here. And you can see that this, this, is, this bottom track is the GoPro video and embedded in that is the audio that I recorded at the same time and it's got three spikes in it because what I did was I played a note sharply and loudly three times so that I could see it very clearly on the audio recording like this. And then this is my audio recording that I made through my audio interface, which is the much nicer sound, which is the one that I want to keep. And you'll see it's got those three same spikes. The thing is though, they don't line up because I started recording the video and then pressed record on, oh no, it looks like the other way around. I started recording through the interface and then had to put the camera on. So obviously the two things need a bit of trimming and lining up so that they're going to work together. In timeline software, you can usually view the waveforms. I think in iMovie, you have to enable this feature, but it is available. It automatically shows in Camtasia the audio waveform. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, first of all, get these spikes exactly lined up so that I can hear them playing together. Then I am going to remove the audio from this video track and delete it so that I'm left with the audio that I recorded through my interface, the video from my GoPro, the two will be lined up. And then what I can do is I can trim it and produce something that I can then share on YouTube. I'm going to just zoom in here. And because this is right at the beginning of the uh, timeline, what I need to do is just move the playhead to just before the spike on the audio recording and split it so that I can delete that beginning part. And then I can move the file along. And my goal is to try and line the two spikes up very carefully. Now, when I play it, my, the, the video it's going to look very jerky, partly because I'm putting a lot of pressure on my PC to record the screen and record the video at the same time, if you see what I mean, and partly because I do, t uh, it's quite an old PC and I do tend to have a problem with the stuttering but of the video. But as long as I can hear that the sound is lined up, I know that when I produce the video, it will look okay. So let's have a listen. And as luck would have it, I seem to have lined them up perfectly already. If they were slightly out of line, this is what you'd hear instead. See, there's a bit of stuttering there. Let's make it a bit more obvious to you. So 
So you can hear that echo. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear the two sounds really perfectly lined up. So let's go back to where I was. And all that horrible fuzzy sound is actually the sound on the GoPro. So now that I've got them lined up, what I'm going to do is I am going to just line my plate head up here, select both the files and trim them by splitting them deleting those sections of the file that I don't want and then grabbing both of those and move the beginning. Whoops. Okay. Right. And what I can do is play around and decide what section that I actually want to keep of this. And once I've done that, so I've got my audio recording and my video recording lined up now. What I do is I go to my video recording down here, right click on it and I separate the video and the audio like that. Okay, so now what I'm left with, track one is the GoPro video recording, track two is the audio from that GoPro recording, and track three is that nice sound file that I made, which is the one that I want to keep. So this audio I'm going to get rid of, and then I'm going to um, remove all empty tracks so that it's lined up, and I'm going to just zoom back out again like this. So what I've actually got here now, oh, it's got, probably gone too far, is I've got the audio file here, the video here, and I'm pretty certain they are lined up because the audio lined up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim it again and create a little section, which I'm going to then put into this finished video so that you can see that the playing and the sound are lined up. Now there is another option to getting a nicely synced video to a good quality recording and that is actually to make the recording on an iPad or an iPhone, use the video recording capability of that and use an audio interface that connects directly up to the iPhone or iPad so that the default sound that is recorded with the video is actually of good quality. Uh, I've got a, an example of that here. This movie file here was actually recorded on my iPad with my audio interface connected to the iPad so that the sound being recorded was being recorded through the audio interface. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add that to my timeline here and just demonstrate that. So you see, I don't actually have to do very much with that at all. It's already lined up and the sound's pretty good already. So that is a very quick way is to make sure that you purchase an interface that will work directly with your iPad and use that to create the videos with. Whether you decide to record your videos directly on your iPad or iPhone, or you decide to make a recording with a GoPro or other sort of camcorder and record the sound on your computer, you're going to need some kind of audio interface. So if you haven't already got one, if you go back to the eighth video in this playlist, then you'll see there is a whole section on looking at different audio interfaces, choosing them and what to look out for. 
So I'd just like to say thanks for watching and I hope that you have enjoyed this series of videos. I hope it's been really helpful because it's something that I've been asked about a lot over the years, exactly how to go about recording the sound of your keyboard, how to get it set up to use it as a controller, how to get all your various music software working with your keyboard. So do um, feel free to contact me, post a comment. Um, if there's anything I've missed out, maybe I can help you with that. Uh, I definitely want this to be really super helpful so that you can put your keyboard at the heart of your home recording studio.